Out of all the cool gadgets coming out this year, the most interesting has got to be Google's internet connected eyewear, Google Glass. But aside from making you look a little strange and taking pictures as you recklessly spin people's kids around, what will Google Glass actually do for you? I'm Donald Bell, and in today's top five, I'll be counting down my list of the most useful ways that Google Glass might be worth the public humiliation. Starting things off at number five, TV enhancement. A little screen to help make watch the big screen more fun. Now, Google doesn't show any couch potatoes in their promo videos, but you know it's gonna happen. You could call up player stats during a baseball game or look up an actor's IMDB page during Game of Thrones. On the downside, Google has a knack for putting ads on everything it makes. At number four, biofeedback. You think the Nike Fuel Band is awesome, you just wait until you have a heads up display of your heart rate, your calories burned, your steps taken, all that stuff superimposed over your morning jog. Maybe it'll help you with your golf swing or your jump shot. Maybe it'll gently remind you that you've been sitting on your ass in front of your computer for six hours straight. Google Glass could make us better people. Coming in at number three, face recognition. Now Google hasn't announced this as an actual feature yet and I understand that there is a huge privacy obliterating downside if they ever did, but wouldn't it be fun for like a minute? I mean, as someone who is really bad at remembering people's names, it would be like crutches for my brain. Oh, hey, how's it going, Dave? You know, it would, maybe it would also tip you off. There's, there's someone at a party that you want to avoid, like an ex or some creep wearing Google glasses. All right, now we're starting to get into the genuinely useful stuff. At number two, instruction. Want to learn how to bake the perfect oatmeal cookie? Just pull up the step-by-step -step YouTube video on your eyeball. Need advice on changing a diaper? Hopefully not your diaper. Just get mom on a Google Hangout and show her a point of view streaming HD video of what a disastrous parent you are. Until we can upload skills directly into our brain matrix style, Google Glass might be the next best thing. But it also has the potential to be the final blow to any sense of personal space we have left. Before we get to the number one potential benefit of Google Glass, let's account for the negative side effects. Have you ever had a complete stranger come up to you and put a camera in your face? It's unsettling. And if Google Glass takes off like Google hopes, any notion of public anonymity will be gone. We will be the big brother we've always feared. And if you think smartphones have killed dinner table conversation, just wait until Facebook and Twitter are running constantly on everyone's eyeballs. It's enough to make you want to live off the grid and black out the windows in your solar-powered geodesic dome. You have every right to be ambivalent about this thing. But maybe it's all worth it for number one, right? Navigation. Google Glass looks like the best tool ever invented for the directionally challenged. Whether you're in your car or on your bike or hiking around, you've got a permanent readout of where you are and where you want to go. It'll be great for tourists, or just anyone trying to figure out their way out of an Ikea. So there you have it, five potential uses for Google Glass that have me both excited and slightly terrified for humanity. You can follow me over on Twitter for updates on my geodesic bunker, or head over to top5.cnet.com for more of these amazing top five videos. I'm Donald Bell, thanks for watching.